Hi, today we're going to talk about the best foods that you can eat when you're a diabetic. My name is John Collett and I'm here from Type Bruno. And as a, let's get straight into the best foods that you can, you can eat as a type 2 diabetic. But I want to talk to you about mindset for a second. I don't want you to think about this as going on a diet. Or I want you to think about it as just swapping foods that you eat now over to a different type of food. Okay? So let's start top of the day, breakfast. What are we going to do there? Well, breakfast, we need to get rid of all that sugary cereal that you've been eating. The toast first thing in the morning, it has to go. We're going to swap it over for, for eggs. Eggs are a great whip breakfast in the morning. Um, we're going to also whole grain thing, breakfast, like uh, the Ke Kellogg's do a really good range of whole grain wheats, muesli, um, you can have bacon in the morning, mushrooms in the morning. So, you, you, yeah, I know, you can have cooked breakfast in the morning. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? So these are all good for you. And the reason, and the obvious reason why the sugary breakfasts have to go is because they're full of sugar, okay? And sugar is not good for you. So let's talk about what you're drinking next. So the next thing we need to swap over is what you're drinking. We really need to get rid of all of these fizzy drinks. Yeah, even orange juice. The orange juice out of the carton, it's got to go. It's absolutely full of sugar. There's more sugar in that stuff than there is in the, in the high energy drinks. Okay, it's the, and only a recent study. So this video is being done, I think it's around about the 18th of May. A study only came out yesterday from America saying that orange juice is a danger and what we got to swap that over for well i'm going to swap that over mainly for water okay water is a fantastic source for you of, of, of liquid there's no no sugar in it which is great also things like green tea is good for you as well okay or tea in general that's that's fine some some coffees are, are, are good for you so we need to swap those over okay when it comes to things like milk we need to start going over to organic milk if you're going to go that if you if you want to go down the sort of coconut milk and all of that type of things you can do that but anything really if you go organic it means that the the cow was eating grass instead of wheat and this is much better for your body so it's a step in the right direction because i appreciate these uh, coconut milks and all of that they're quite expensive to to have so the next foods we're going to talk about processed food okay the stuff that comes in a box yeah the stuff that you know that you get from the freezer section you put in five minutes you got your food absolutely fantastic when you push for time that's brilliant okay well you know you need to swap those over for fresh vegetables okay fresh vegetables absolutely fantastic for you there's loads of different things you can do with fresh vegetables and the, and the general rule is because if you do a bit of research you will be told that there's some good veggies and bad veggies so i'm going to give you a really simple rule to follow if it's above ground it's good if it's below ground you want to limit the amount that you eat okay so leafy vegetables like cauliflower cabbage spinach asparagus is fantastic form of vegetables for you to eat so these are the type of things you need to start focusing on and replacing your processed food with vegetables and yes i did say above ground is better the worst vegetable you can eat is potatoes okay because it's full of carbs okay but if you are gonna have potatoes right okay make sure it's no more than a fistful okay you want about 20 grams of uh, carbs a day and so a few vegetables every now and again is not gonna hurt you but yeah I know you I know you think the chips are out, <laughs> are out but I promise you once you start getting into all the different things you can do with vegetables they become really really exciting for you to eat so snack so the ne next thing we're going to deal with is snacks okay yeah the chocolate the crisps that's right crisps are potatoes they're full of carbs okay they gotta go chocolate full of sugar they gotta go okay so what are we going to swap them over well we're going to swap them over for nuts and berries which are really really nice walnuts they're really nice there's lots of types of berries that you can have we need to swap them over for those type of foods so that when you're feeling hungry you grab a handful of nuts eat those i promise you if you just give it a little bit of time that hunger will go away and will keep you going so we're not telling you to stop snacking yeah no problem with having a snack protein bars i like protein bars as well 
they're good. Um, maybe just one a day of those though, <laughs> you know what I mean? But two at the most, but there's a bigger and bigger variety of uh, protein bars on the market now that you can have, which I strongly advise you to start looking into, but they have a very low carbs and sugar ratings on those. The next big thing is pasta, okay? Yeah, the pasta and the rice, if gotta go. Now, if you're gonna struggle with this, you might wanna go to the whole grain pasta and rice. Uh, you can also get like a to tofu pasta, um, but I don't know if they sell it in Great Britain. I know they sell it in Italy, um, and hopefully that'll start coming onto the market very soon. Um, but, but I use, instead of pasta, I use um, courgettes. I, got a machine that turns it into a pasta fry it for five minutes put the meat on and stuff tastes really really nice cauliflower rice uh, that's really 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 nice as far as everything is concerned um, you know as far as far as uh, instead of rice itself um, you know especially you know that's nice enough especially when you've put meat on top of it if you're having like curry or chili or something like that you know and and yet again when it comes to meat if you're gonna eat meat, which is no problem, I eat meat, I put, I, you know, organic, try and get organic meat so that the meat comes from the cows that eat the food that they're meant to be eating, okay? If you can do that, that's fantastic, but if you're just eating meat, you, you know, if that's where you are, then, you know, still, you don't have to stop eating meat, you don't have to become a vegetarian or anything. So there are a list of the foods that you need to change over. And the main reason you want to start swapping these foods over is because when you start looking into how much sugar is actually in all of these products, you, you'll realize why you need to swap over. But I promise you, it'll make a massive difference to you in the long run. Hey, and remember, you're not a number. You're a rhino. Now charge. <laughs>